Senator Ozzy Ujo Kalu has revealed that he receives 14 million era monthly. So the, the question here and where I'm driving at is the vehicle is just one part of it. Is how the, uh, the political class live large at the expense of the average person. When the average person in the society cannot feed, poor price have gone up. And they're looking to you, those of you who promised them good life, who went to them in the constituency, who said APC is the best thing that's happened to Nigeria and you should vote for APC. And now you go to the National Assembly and they hear this amount of money that you take home as wages and salaries and emolument, and they wonder why are these people behaving this way? You're not reflecting the average person that you are representing. No, 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 sure, it depends. I'm, I'm doing my duty as a legislator in my constituency. I can never fail in my duty. And I'm sure that most senators are doing their duties in their constituencies. I can never fail in Abia non senatorial district. The question is at what expense that you are getting so much? Getting what? The from ad. where? You don't think that the livelihood and the what, no, 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 what from it costs where? Nigeria? No, 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 no. From to, where? To fund the lives of those who are in government. No, to, show, if you much. have told me, I will bring you the statement of my account from the Senate. How much do you earn as a salary, Senator? I earn 14 million for everything. In a year or per month? In a month. In a month. Yeah. That's but everything compassion. In your, uh, your salary? My your, salary, your... the overhead, the worker salary, the everybody. As a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The senator also lamented the fact that the 14 million naira he receives monthly as a senator is not enough for him to survive as a city senator. But senator, are you proud of what your party is delivering to Nigerians today? Yes and no. Because my party is very unlocked. My party have done very well in things they can do in the indices of economies and all the rest. Under Tinubu or under Buhari? Because that's under kettle of fish. Let, let, let me be honest with you. Under every leader. God creates leaders for a purpose. Every leader has a purpose God has created. Him. God does not bring leaders just for this. But, but we the have... leadership under Buhari seems to have destroyed our economy. I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to discuss that. But that's the reality. No, 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 it's, it's, under no, that no, no, no. I, I'm not going to discuss that. Yeah, those who believe that we no. were 20 years backward under that government, I, I'm not a going party to... that you are a prominent figure. No, no, figure listen in. to me. I am not going to discuss President Mohammed Buhari here. Why? Because it's not the right thing to do. He has gone. Let us look at the future. But well, how do we learn when we don't know what the issue yeah, is? Yeah, we can discuss it here. That is, it's not here we learn. But the question is that if... You were here when it happened. If the economy under Buhari was a disaster, should we tow that line? And this government not, said that no, they no, will no. continue from where Buhari stopped. No, no, no. That is where the difficulty comes. The government are not continuing from where Buhari stopped. They are trying to reform the economy. They are trying to bring back the economy mm -hmm. where it's supposed to be. But it's bringing hardship our people. The president himself knows that Nigerians are suffering. The president knows that Nigerians are hungry. The president knows. Many has lambasted the senator. The lawmaker and the former governor joins us live here in our Abuja studio. Thanks so much indeed, your excellency, for joining us tonight. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while and I, I imagine it. Uh, I heard some rumors about, uh, uh, although this is not, uh, this is a very bad timing to talk about 2027 because the governance and the livelihood of our people are more paramount than politics but it's interesting to now hear that you are now being linked to 2027 presidency do you have the ambition to become president in 2027 well uh sure thank you very much for having me here you've been you, you've been so uh nice in asking me a, a question that uh, shouldn't have been come up because I don't know where you got your rumor from. But uh, I've but, seen posters online. But um, let me tell you, first and foremost, I'm qualified to be a president and I'm competent. But in a political, in a, a constitutional democracy, a party that have a president that is running for the first time do not need, whether in America or anywhere. So uh, we have already a candidate in our political party, unless it's not running. If he, if he doesn't want to run, would you run? 
Oh, so if the party gave me the opportunity to fly their flag, it's a privilege. It's not something that would I like. It's an uh, opportunity given by the party. It's party that gives it, and Nigerian people that support it. It's not about me. My interest in 2027 is to come back, be a lawmaker, sit in the Senate, and work in the Senate. Mm. Uh, so you, you look at uh, the, the politics of 2027, not starting the way things are going, especially with the performance of your party. It's going to be difficult for anyone now projecting into 2027. That is, even if your party is still together at that time because your party is in turmoil at the moment. And there will be those who also say, your brother, uh, Mr. Peter Obi, uh, is likely to, to run. And within uh, your region, in the Southeast region, is a political figure, a prominent one that you cannot show the side. And that he posed a big threat to all the establishment political parties in 2020, uh, 2023. No, I don't, I don't think so. Because what is about your political party? It's not in my party. I'm not in his party. And it's only when I am his party. Let me tell you, I know you continue bashing APC. Let, let me be honest with you. I know things have not been the way it's supposed to be. Um, the economy has not been so friendly. The atmosphere has not been friendly. But you see, this, is economic, this economic problem... It's going almost everywhere in the world. It's just that we, had, we hadn't had an economy where we could have said this is the system of our economy because the economy has no system from 1960 to today. No system of economy. So if we have had economy like Canada, like America, we say this is where we're going to follow. The pressure of COVID has not gone. You see... Mind you, I'm not a politician, but an interpreter. But you're I, a politician now. I mean, how do you describe... Uh, no, a man that... Shall you know only in media alone, and I'm the highest employer of labor of media in Nigeria. With over 2,000 employees of media. So if I have well, you, over you 10, for governor. Of, you run no, for it doesn't governor. make any you can't, difference. Yeah, you, you, the, you, are, the you have your business is, side no, no, on no, one hand, but no, you are a politician. No, no I'm not a politician. I'm an interpreter. I think... On no, you're to politics. Pay so how, how do you want no, to downplay no, no, the no, fact no, no, that no, no. you're a city senator representing no, Adi a North. city senator with a, uh, with an entrepreneurship face. You don't count me as a politician. I don't behave like a politician. I keep to time. All the times you have interviewed me here, I used to come here 20 minutes before you. Sometimes I'm here before you. <laughs> so <laughs> how do you come it's interesting. So, you meet me here in the studio in this bar. This is literally so, my home. <laughs> so you, you can see. Let me tell you, the pressure of COVID is all of Mind you, I have businesses in most African countries, Sierra Leone, Gambia, DRC, Conakry, all these places, and South Africa, and all the rest of them. So the pressure of COVID at least it's going to take worldwide. I'm not telling you because of this, because I had, I, 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 I saw the pressure of COVID in Canada and the US. In this recess, we've just come. Because the pressure is there, because they developed the economy. People are not sitting down to see it. There are a lot of cushions, there are a lot of palliatives that are not, you know, our old palliative is going to buy rice and beans. It's palliative. But there are a lot of palliative the other governments are giving to organize businesses. Because the SMEs, once you don't grow the SMEs, you cannot have economy. Because why it looks so? Because of the pressure on Naira to the dollar, because of pressure on the fuel prices. These are things we should have overgrown by now. So we're talking about... Uh, physical side of the economy. This should not be our... Because there are those who also say, some of you, are, especially those in the, in, the, in the parliament, that you have not shown example of how uh, those who really, really know the pains of the people should behave. When some of your colleagues are uh, getting 140 million naira worth of vehicle, when their constituents are a, suffering... No, no, no. Don't you think you just hear... 
all these rumors, some of them these are, are not rumors. We no. see them riding it. No, 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 no. Have the you seen the me National riding? Assembly? I mean, if you say you're a billionaire, I don't say I'm a billionaire. I say I'm a businessman. Yeah, if you say you're a businessman, yeah. you have the wherewithal to buy it. But even if you do, should you get a 140 million naira VP no, no, Chong, let me tell when you. your people no, are no, suffering? No, no. Let me be honest with you. I'm in the Senate, mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of things are said about the senators, and I sit there quietly and watch. And most of these things are not true. Like getting vehicles? Yes, of course. They're not true. You mean that senators have not gotten vehicles? Is that what Some senators were given aid to buy vehicles and upgraded it with their own, those that can afford it. It's not every senator. You didn't get a vehicle? No, what would I do with The vehicle? official vehicle? What would I do? The land cruiser? There's nothing like official vehicle. They buy vehicles to the committees. Individual senators are No, being you are, this is why I'm telling you, you are part of this robot carrier. Senators are giving committee vehicles. So and did you, you get a vehicle, Senator? No, 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 no. That is not the issue. No, no, did, no, did my issue. committee did you get no, a did vehicle? Did my committee sir? get a vehicle? The answer is yes. But you chair a committee, don't you? I chair a committee. So man. you got a vehicle. But the, the vehicle is for committee work. It's not for me. I don't but it's the official my... vehicle. No, you it's use not it, don't true. You? It's not true. Well, anybody in the committee can use this vehicle. So Nigerian people, let, let me tell you, we are elected people. There are many people that are appointed. They use five, six vehicles. Nobody talks about it. But uh, I mean, the, the legislators are doing, a, 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 they're doing a lot to see that Nigerian people are carried along. Because we're the only elected people. In our constituencies, if somebody is sick, they will come to, the, to us. If somebody's child is not going to school, they will come for school fees. If anything happens to any constituent, they come to you. So the, they, the way they looked at, down on uh, legislators are things I cannot believe. I mean, I, I think there is a mix-up here. Maybe you are a uh, senator. You, you are not privy to some of... Maybe you, because I you are a big man, you no, it's not, not true. get some of these It's vehicles. not true. But you need to recheck your, 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 your record. I will recheck so and no, come back to you. Please, sir. So if you can, you, I will recheck. You know, I, I'm a understand. senior member. Let me tell you. I'm billion. a senior member of the Maybe that's why you don't need to have no. this chain of vehicles in no, your compound. I am a senior and you do not need member. Them. But the there are facts to the, no. to, the, uh, to, uh, under the fact that lawmakers get vehicles. Some of them, some of these vehicles amount to about 140 million naira a unit of those vehicles. All I know, the committees get vehicles. No lawmaker is owner of any vehicle. You may not be factual like uh, in, oh, in, in well, your, I don't You, I you don't probably know. need to check. Maybe you should, you should exchange. Because we've had this. I should become this. I've had, no, no, no. I've I had should this, become no, this. I should become this I've way. I've spoken you go to your way. colleague who is in charge yeah. about this same vehicle. And he never said that they did not get vehicles. No, no. I, did, I, I said they did not get vehicles. You were saying that it's that for committee. No, so the committee. But we do know that each lawmaker is proportioned. There are those who will say, give us the money we'll purchase. It's there are not those, true. They're given the options. It's not true. And there are a lot of things that you are, they are, giving that you are vehicles. probably not aware of, Senator. They are giving committee vehicles. But maybe you can, you can leave that, type of your, that part of your argument because I have to go for more knowledge. But... I am telling you, and you are telling me, you have my colleague who is in charge of it. No, 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 no my colleague should not tell you, or should tell you that this vehicle do not belong to committee. So the, the question here, and where I'm driving at, is the vehicle is just one part of it. It's how the, uh, the political class live large at the expense of the average person. When the average person in the society cannot feed, poor price have gone up. And they're looking to you, those of you who promise them good life, who went to them in the constituency, who said APC is the best thing that's happened to Nigeria and you should vote for APC. And now you go to the National Assembly and they hear this amount of money that you take home as wages and salaries and emolument, and they wonder why are these people behaving this way? You're not reflecting the average person that you are representing. No, 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 sure, it depends. I'm, I'm doing my duty as a legislator in my constituency. I can never fail in my duty. And I'm sure that most senators are doing their duties in their constituencies. I can never fail in Abia non-senatorial district. The question is, at what expense? That you are getting so much 
get the essence of the from art. where? You don't think that the livelihood and the, what, no, 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 what it costs where? Nigeria no, 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 from to, where? to fund the lives of those who are in government no, is too... Show, is if too you have much. told me, I will bring you the statement of my account from the Senate. How much do you earn as a salary, Senator? I earn 14 million for everything. In a year or per month? In a month. In a month. Yeah. That's but everything compass. In your uh, your salary, my your, salary, your... the overhead, the worker salary, the everybody. So uh, it's... You, you don't think that that is enormous? No, it's per not. Head. You're not the only one. No, no, no. Let, 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 no, let me be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Do you know this money I have to buy fuel, I have to travel to my constituency, I have to maintain constituency office, I have to sit in the constituency. It's not enough. I, 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 if you have told me... two-term governor, yes, Senator, yes. you don't think cost of governance is a major problem? No, no, no. Listen to me. When I was governor, mm -hmm. I called for one year, six term. One year, six years, one term. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some president, of the parties who are asking for that. No, also. President Obasanjo said I was after him. That was the part of the beginning of our quarrel. Eh? I called for uh, one year, six term, uh, one, uh, six year, one term. Because of the cost of going to the elections, because of cost of managing the economy, because of because when you bring in a governor or a president, they are eyes on re-election. They are not even thinking about what people will get, what people will do. Every politician, they are looking for the election. So the only way to solve this problem is give no incentive to anybody. Do six year one term. And you think that that will help boost performance? It will, it will go a long way. Because most of the people think they need to make money for the election. In my minority opinion, I don't know majority opinion, in my minority opinion, I think most politicians are always looking forward for the next election. And that's why uh, there is a very popular saying uh, uh, from a, a popular uh, motivational speaker who said, uh, the politician look forward to the next election, but a leader look forward to the next generation, how to empower the next generation. But that perhaps is the missing, uh, the gap between what has become our problem in this country, uh, where there are a lot of people who believe that we've not really had the kind of leaders that we should have in this country. But, Senator, are you proud of what your party is delivering to Nigerians today? Yes and no, because my party is very unlocked. My party has done very well in things they can do in the indices of economies and all the rest. Under Tinobu or under Buhari? Because that's another kettle of fish. Let, let, let me be honest with you. Under every leader, God creates leaders for a purpose. Every leader has a purpose God has created him. God do not bring leaders just for this. But, but we the have, leadership under Buhari seems to have destroyed our economy. I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to discuss that. But that's the reality. No, 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 it's not. No, 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 I am not going to discuss that. There are those who believe that we no. were 20 years backward under that government. I am not a going party to... that you are a problem. No, no, listen right. to me. I am not going to discuss President Mohammed Buhari here. Why? Because it's not the right thing to do. He has gone. Let us look at the future. But how do we learn when we don't know what the issue yeah, is? Yeah, we can discuss it here. That is, it's not here we learn. But the question is that if... You were here when it happened. If the economy under Buhari was a disaster... Should we toe that line? And this government not, said that no, they will no, continue no. from where Buhari stopped. No, no, no. That is where the difficulty comes. The government are not continuing from where Buhari stopped. They are trying to reform the economy. They are trying to bring back the economy mm. where it's supposed to be. But it's bringing hardship to our people. The president himself knows that Nigerians are suffering. The president knows that Nigerians are hungry. The president knows. It's not... Uh, it's not a, it's not, it's a street person. He knows the street very well. The president, some nice, use his car to go around and know what is happening in Abuja here. People really? Do yes, of course. Are you aware of it, that he moves around the city? Sure. The president goes around the city, visit and go around. I hope it wasn't done when the kidnap and issues were happening in Abuja. Well, uh, whether they kidnap or not, the president goes around with one or two cars and 
see what is happening. It's not a president that's locked up in a room. It's not a president that doesn't know what is. He knows. But this president is best. He's, a, he's very courageous on his own. Because most of the things he's doing, I might not be able to take them all. Have you reconciled with him? Because I, I know that your friendship had some issues some time ago when you had your differences. I mean, uh, those who feel that you betrayed him in the, uh, in the election of uh, the, the National Assembly. No, and you no, stood no, on no. the other side. I mean, being I in have... the same class of 1999. No, no, no. I have never quarreled with the president. The president asked me not to run for Senate president. I didn't run. So, I mean, I have obeyed. But you supported Yari as against the No, 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 no. I voted for Yari, but we have gone past that. Do you regret voting for Yari? No. I voted for Yari, and is, that was my vote. Is that the reason why some of you want Gosvila Fabio out? Nobody wants Gosvila Fabio out. Really? But, I mean, there are speculation that uh, he wants to be impeached, and that on the floor today there were moves to say, oh, uh, a vote of confidence on him. The Senate is a one Senate. Show. Any day the Senate finds a reason to remove God's way like my view, they will come as one Senate and do it. But there's no reason for today in the floor of the Senate. If they have a reason, they will remove him. So have you, have you resolved there? Yeah, have you resolved there? There's that? nobody who planned to impeach him. There's nobody. No, nothing like that. Uh, I don't know where you are getting your information. I'm a political journalist, Senator. No. And, and the fact I'm, remains. I'm sure and this, some of these things I'm asking you happened on the floor today. Uh, uh, in great, I, I'm very sure you are one of those who voted, gave uh, Gozo Akwabi a vote of confidence, didn't you? No, the Senate, on standing in the Senate, all the Senate gave him vote of confidence. Not Yaradwa, not Ojikalo, not Ningi, not uh, uh, Adiola, not uh, Abiru. Everybody in the Senate. Well, we needed one Senate to go through this difficult period. The, Nigeria is going through a difficult moment, and we need to support both the executive and the legislature. We cannot start fighting. I, I, I will come to that in a bit, uh, because <laughs> there are those who believe that you and your colleagues are simply Robert Stamp. Whatever the executive brings, you, you, you are not really playing your role to check. Sean, it should be check and, ba and balance. Say the truth. Am I a rubber stamp? Do you know, you know me? You are all you or Kali. You are not the Senate. No, 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 no. But you know me. There are those who say... Do I speak this, my mind? You speak your mind, but you hey, are not... So, the that is it. Uh, uh, the Senate is the Senate. You belong to that Senate. Yes, I belong and to the Senate. And if some Nigerians have said, you guys are rubber stamp. You're not doing the your due diligence a, uh, in keeping this executive on their toes. You simply stamp and pass whatever they bring to you without proper scrutiny. No, the Senate is not a rubber stamp. Shaun, I would like you to apologize, not saying that in my I'm presence. asking you a question, Senator. This no. is a television no, 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 no. interview. This is not I'm not passing no, no, a judgment, no, no. and I'm no, no, asking no, no. you, no, 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 how no, do you, you react cannot. to those who no. say that your Senate, no, no, in which no. you are I a member of, is I a rubber stamp? They say that are worried about the state of the economy, about the state of, the, of security in the country, the direction our country is going. 109 of you representing the Nigerian people, the question is, what are you, have you and your colleagues done differently to put the executive on their toes and put their feet to fire? No, our job, Sean, you see, Nigerian people always misunderstood our job. Our job is to make law. When we make this law, we give to the executive. The executive will go and implement. That's where our job ends. And the Senate will go for oversight. And this is what... We expect our colleagues ask me, are they doing proper oversight? Those that go for the oversight must do thorough oversight. Senator, the question I'm asking, sir, on behalf of the Nigerian people, is that if those thorough oversight has happened, you have ad admi ad admitted tonight that the economy is in trouble. Oh, sure. You I'm have a business man. I know that the economy is in trouble. Absolutely. And that today, dollar, only this week, had moved a few figures higher, not lower. And value, uh, the value of the Naira in that regard had dropped. Uh, and you will imagine that all of this is happening. Under the last one year or so, under the watch of your party, the APC Senator, if you say... No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Just for a moment, Senator. Mm -hmm. If you say your Senate 
is not a rubber stamp. How come, and if you are playing your role as a, uh, your oversight role, how come our economy has come this bad and almost all the indices of our economy has, has gone in the negative? The question is, how much of a pressure are you putting on the executive that our economy is in this shambles? Let me be honest with you. The Senate is putting a lot of pressure on the executive. And the economy yeah. is still bad. Yes. It's not the issue of executive and uh, legislature or judiciary. This economy is a worldwide issue. There's a lot of hunger in South Africa like we have today. I disagree, Senator, just a little no, bit. No, You know why no, I disagree? I'm so. coming. No, 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 no I allow disagree. Me. I've been allowing you to talk. No, Senator, no, you must allow me to talk. No, Senator, you must allow me to talk. No, you must allow me to talk. Those facts that are given. No, Senator, this fact No, you must allow me to talk. We need to set the record straight, sir. Do you want me to invite me to just go ahead? No, but we need to set the record straight, Senator. No, the record is that there is a worldwide deflection of economy all over the world. I just told you, I have businesses everywhere. It is bad in Nigeria because we have no economic processes. We never had economy since like 60 years ago. If we have had economy, the cushion will be... What do you mean we don't have an economy? We don't have economy. There is no organized economy here. Because we have no lights, we have nothing. We are not, our stock exchange is just building up and become investment of you and me supposed to be in Nigeria. So you mean the major drivers of our economy No, the institutions, the institutions that drive the economy are very weak. All the institutions. And this is what President Bola Tinibu is trying to rebuild, to make sure the institutions are strong. Because if you see, continue with this uh, handout and weak economy, you are not going to go. Somebody must make the decision. It might be right or so wrong. He's taking a tough decision he's for taking the future. A, he's taking a tough decision for the future. And this tough decision, I'm not defending him. You know, I can always speak my mind. If the question is, Nigerian people are there hungry, the answer is yes. I have businesses across the border. And I can tell you that it's the same story everywhere. But our own look worse because we didn't take decisions at all. At all. So the, uh, the, what the record I like to set straight is that yes, there are global problems, challenges facing different economies of the world. But Nigeria does have a peculiar uh, uh, challenge on its economy. Uh, so painting a, a global, uh, uh, giving an excuse of a global economic problem to our peculiar problem may not be exactly the picture. That was what I wanted to set the record. No, I, I'm not saying different thing with you from what you are saying. But what I'm saying that what you are trying to say in a different language is that people in government ought to maintain austerity measure. I believe you, they should. There should be more showing our coat according to our size, scaling down most things people in government do, scaling down on more gifts the government gives to other countries, Scaling down on so many things. Like having 49 ministers. Well, uh, you are right. If uh, the Constitution says you should have 35, and uh, 36. We, should, Minimum. we should scale down the parastatus. If I'm President Tinibu, most parastatus will go back to, to uh, ministries. Well, most of these parasites are departments in the ministries. But, but your, you and your colleagues are creating more commissions, more no, You can create all those things, and they, they will say no. Did you see us uh, appointing anybody or creating one? Oh, you're, make... you're, you're talking about the South some, something the commission. Every region now is having its own different commission. And uh, the question is that, <laughs> Steve Arantai, a reporter, said, we do not need as much. And this government said it's going to implement that. And I'm concurring, with what, uh, I'm concurring with what Steve Arasanya's report says, that we don't need this much. If you were to hear, I've also told President Tidibu, word or what, that we do not need this much. But the man is under fire because he is working day and night to see what he can do. I'm telling you the truth. He's your close friend. Yes. Are you still very close? Yes. You resolve your differences. We had no, we never had differences. I don't know where you are getting this fake news. Before he <laughs> traveled, only two days before he traveled, he was in my house. 
So, I mean, uh, what shows friendship? You own a, a tabloid newspaper, a Sun newspaper. I don't do tabloid here. Yeah. I do facts because I'm a political journalist for over some years. No, I, I do know. I put my ear to the ground and I have my eyes. Even when you guys are having your uh, your night meeting, some, some of us are aware. But just for a moment, Senator, we've got a, a two-time governor of RBS. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining Thanks, us now. Man. Well, I mean, you say you, you keep saying you're a bin, businessman, but... I'm not sure that you're being still recognized in the business world as a businessman since you be you are you're a businessman. <laughs> I'm I'm still I'm building new factories, I'm building new things, and I'm creating new opportunities in my business for people to work and make money. But for you're, not, you're not rated, you're not recognized as a businessman. And that's why I say you're a politician, but you don't agree that you are one. And because uh, they are no, doing... no, 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 no. False. Forbes only rates me. Mind you, when they rate me, they rated me from 2007 to 2019. Immediately, I'm elected into um, the National Assembly. National Assembly. They will not rate me again because I'm out of business. I'm only advisor in the business. So you see that I'm right now, that now you're a politician. No, I'm not so, totally a politician. I, I work for the foundation. I work for everybody, and I advise the business. I cannot leave such a large amount of business without advising them, we will go very down. Senator, uh, there are some of you in the National Assembly who has the wherewithal, who, 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 are, who have some means. Uh, and so uh, in these difficult times, you and your colleagues have said, oh, we show good faith to the Nigerian people by cutting down on what we earn. And we thought that maybe cutting down 50% of what you earn. You think that will also show good faith to the Nigerian people? Who are well, we have done that times without number. But well, we, you don't work in the accounts department of... Uh, but where do the money go? Assembly. No, we have done that. The senior president have cut most of the things we get. Out of for the situation, we say, yes, it's good. I mean, the senior president have done a lot to cut some of these things. I'm saying that... Just to show, even if it's for three months. No, even if I give you even, my salary, now it's not going to do No, anything. give it to your constituents. No, what are, my constituents are having enough from me. Really? Yes. yes. Some of the projects in all We are rocking. We are rocking in my constituents. I mean, we are not it's so perfect. We are all rocking. Roads, it's not perfect. Water. I'm going to make it perfect. But it's not perfect. But we are rocking in my constituents. My constituents is one of the best constituents in Nigeria today. It's true. Really? Yes. I mean, I'm saying that not only you as Ojo Zorkalo. Many I'm people are doing that. If you Many and your people, colleagues, just I'm to saying, show, yeah. between now and December, for no, example, you don't understand. because 50% of, of your salary. Many senators are doing that. But these senators are forgoing a lot to constituency. I know of Mohamed Sani Musa. I know of Walam I know of Abiru. I know of, uh, uh, what is I mean, those I discuss with. I know of um, uh, uh, Alero, and I, I, I know a lot of them. They are officially taken out of oh, their salary. Take and... money and give back to the constituents. But can't the Senate this jointly person. take this position? Well, Just to show that know, those who are representing Those them. are not the rules. The rules of parliamentary rules are different. No, this it, is a moral standard. No, there's no when morality. Your people are Nobody suffering. in the U.S. Senate will cut a salary to give to anybody. Why not? Why are they going to it's survive? It's your money. Let me tell you, 80% of senators are just politicians. Only 20% of them are businessmen like me or others. So how are they going to feed their family? That is the truth. No sacrifice whatsoever. No, how Even can they make month. That is their job. That is the job. You're saying showing for. good faith. They Senator. cannot show good faith. How are they going to survive? So... It still comes down to one thing, that your party, uh, which of course as it is uh, right now, is still trying to find its way. If your party cannot even conduct uh, a national executive uh, council meeting, neck meeting. Which neck? Your, your party has not held... No, our party is the most organized party in Nigeria today. How so? Governor Gadduje has been able to award election in Edo. Oh, really? As a national chairman. There was an election in Edo, and the APC won, although I was... The PDP I was, is contesting and said... Oh, sure, election. it's always a thing. You must go to court. Anybody that... The lost. Labour Party said there was a heavy vote by... Let them go to judicial interpretation. That is why the court is there.
I mean, this go to court tendency, you don't think that is dangerous for our, our democracy? Well, that's when only the arbiter. The arbiter is a court. Let me tell you, you people insult Nigerian courts. When you go to other African countries, you know that we have no courts. Nigeria still remains. I have businesses. I've been, they've been giving us judgment that you cannot believe that we're written in Africa of today. Nigerian judiciary still remains one of the strongest in Africa today. When but we, to we need to strengthen it. We need to strengthen it. There's a lot of work to be done. I, that was what the And senate, kudos to those who are no, doing their jobs, no, those who, are, are, who are doing excellent no, work. Well. Those are what they as a new CJN to make sure she strengthens the judiciary. I'm sure they're going to do it. You can see that they have already gone very far in the Court of Appeals, where we're having problems at the little, little courts that are in talents. But all the big courts, like the Court of Appeal, like the Supreme Court, they are very careful what the ruling they give or the judgment they give. But they know not only people in Nigeria will read that their judgments will be read internationally. Mm -hmm. so, Senator, uh, the question I asked you is about your political party, the APC. Yeah. Your party has not been able to hold as against the constitution of your party, that there should be at least one neck meeting per quarter? No, we scheduled a neck meeting, uh, not per quarter. We That's what the constitution No, says. no, we scheduled a That's what the APC constitution No, we scheduled says. a neck meeting 11 and the 12th. Eh? But the president was busy. He was in China. So uh, and the president is the leader of the party. The leader of the party must be available. Is the president really the leader of the party? The president is the leader of APC. Are you the leader? No, I'm asking you a question. No, and you I'm also asking you, he's the leader of the party. The I president. thought that the national chairman or the, the leadership of the party is the leadership of the party. No, no, no. The leader of the party is And every leader. elected member of the party succumbs to the leadership of the party. No, 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 no. When I mean leader of the party, it's just the leader of the party. But the, whatever the party does, the AWC at the neck is the superior. But that's to so far away from what obtains in the Third Republic. What? Where you see in. Uh, 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 in no, the chairman and the AWC have the power to run the party. Well, you said that the, the neck could not hold just because. Not the because president the president was, was not, not available. And is the leader of the party. Should I hold the activities of the party down? No, 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 no. Because most others, and also the National Assembly, which was a, a component uh, member of the neck, we were recess. And we came back on the 21st of September. So there's no way the neck could have helped. The guy, um, the Governor Gaduje, who is the national chairman of the party, have proposed next uh, several times. And they, our party is the most organized party as of today. I mean, that, that's contestable, don't you think, uh, with the manner in which things have gone in your party. There are those Maybe who are, you, Ecowas Court is very close here. You, <laughs> you better go to Ecowas Court and contest it. Uh, I, may, I may not have a local, to, a local standard to, 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 to do that. No, you can go as a journalist. No, journalist. no, no, I don't if have a local. Right. Yeah, no, no, no. Party. yeah, no, no, no. I don't have a local to, to do that. Uh, because the court will ask you, what will you lose? Uh, if, uh, if, the, if the matter goes on like that. So the question here, uh, again, is the property or uh, the responsibility of your party to the Nigerian people mm -hmm. and how much of sensitivity your party has to, to the Nigerian people. The question here, are you able to proudly say you are a member and a leader of the APC? For example, let's start from the Southeast with the way things are going on in the country today. Well, I'm a member of uh, APC, whether you like it or not. Things are going in because we have economic problems and uh, it's nobody's problem. We have had this um, banditry all over the time. And you don't it's think all of this are making your party you can, unpopular let me be honest every with day? You. No, no, let me be honest with you. If you look very well and check very well, there was a time myself and you couldn't sleep here in Abuja. The banditry was even at the Abakea, the massacre, the first time they attacked the Catholic Church. You know, before, here, you can't sleep here. You know, about some years ago. So there is progress being made, according to what the National Security Advisor told us. He's making progress every day. But this progress has also goes with sabotage. Let me be honest with you. The politicians should know 
that Tinubu is not the owner of this country. Neither the Buhari is the owner of this country, or Jonathan, or Babangida, or Abdul Salam, or, or Basanjo, those who have been president. The only trustees of the dream. Because they want to damage the country because you hate the president, or you don't like the president, or you are quarreling with the president, or this, that, that. It's not the issue. We should come out as Nigerian people to build our country. If your party were to go to an election today, what do you think the outcome would be? Well, we'll always appeal to Nigerian people to vote for us. We'll win. But what would the outcome? What, the what outcome would be, we will, please, our, our followership is very huge. And you think that you will probably lose, the, lose an election if you go to the post today? Lose which election? What election? If, I'm saying if there were to be an election today but in Nigeria. They don't no, no, I'm saying, I, mean, I said if there were to be a general election, where your party is on the ballot today in Nigeria, do you think your, your party can win it? We will win, but I'm not Nigerian people to decide what we are asking. But I know in my constituency I will win, and every other person with it, their constituency will be able to win. Mm. Labour Party controls your state, Senator. Yes. Although the deputy, Sen uh, deputy speaker is saying that uh, APC will take over Abia. Um, but we've heard a lot from the Labour Party who say, look, the Labour Party has come to stay. <laughs> You see, I was a governor before. I don't like to discuss where it comes to where a governor is involved. First of all, we are a different political party. Our duty is to win the election, not by, by appealing to our people, by doing what the people like, like democratically, by cutting the people. We win the election. Is it true that some of you are cutting and want to drag uh, Alex Oti to APC? Well, I don't know about that. Have uh, you spoken to him about it? Yes, I spoke to him once. To come to the APC? No, no, no. I spoke to him generally, and we spoke generally about Nigeria. And also, if he wants to come to APC, the political party is open for everybody. So you want Alex Oti in the APC? No, I didn't say so. Do you, you want to... him, Senator? No, if he wants. It's not my decision. But you are hoping that your party will win in Abia? State. No, with or without him, we can win Abia. It's possible. We are going to win Abia because... The people will follow us if we appeal to them. But right. if uh, Alex is uh, smart enough, the governor will close his flags and work very hard. Okay. He needs to work hard. You know, this is about hard working. You can listen to me. In my, in my area, you cannot carry election. You must edit. Mind you that the APC lost this election in Abia State because they had forests. If APC is together, the story might be different. Senator, let's close this conversation uh, uh, and discuss sport for about a minute and a half. Uh, you saw what happened in Libya uh, as a stakeholder in the sports industry. How do you feel about that situation? And what do you think that CAF should CAF cancel that game, uh, probably reschedule it for the position of the country? Your colleagues are saying that the uh, Libyan government should apologize to, to Nigeria and the super egos. Well, decisively, well, what do you think should be done? Remember, when the Ejimba Football Club played, all this, we encountered this kind of things. When we were Ejimba, going around African countries, we encountered this kind of things. But let me be honest, as super of uh, uh, pillar of sports in Africa, CAF have done the right thing. First, CAF did not award Libya the three points, which is what they wanted. And CAF was also penalized them by saying you must pay for the expenses of super egos. Because, and CAF have said you will not play this match again in Benghazi. You have to go to Luanda. So I don't think any other thing CAF will do because CAF, in football, CAF have done what they're supposed to do. And I'm very proud of the leadership of CAF because Enyimba is the only club in 50 years. Back to back, we carry the the Champions League and the Super League. Back to back, and nobody even remember to give those boys national honor. Nobody gave them anything except the cars or something. I gave to because uh, there was a face off in PDP at that moment between the president and our state. And this is not how a country should be. A country should forgive people. A country should play. Rightly, like you asked me of Buhari. Buhari is a leader, he has given his stewardship. Obasanjo is a leader, he's giving his stewardship. Jonathan was there, he's giving his stewardship. All these leaders had 
what they have contributed one way or the other. No, no leader is a fake. Every leader has something to, com com to contribute to the natural economy. Because without that, there will be no Nigeria. So all leaders must contribute what they have. Anybody who is telling you is coming to do any magic. Did you see the World Bank vice president telling us the economy will, will, will come back in 15 years' time? That is not what we have to believe. We need to work hard to put our economy where we are. I'm just saying both the executive and everybody should cut down in what we are doing. Or to the father, he's one of the leaders enacting the policies of this administration that has plunged many Nigerians deeply into poverty. Recall that the senator in time past has implored Nigerians to be patient with the president. The senator has also made it known that the president is aware of the hardship ravaging the nation, that the president is also doing everything within his capacity to arrest the situation and forestall the economic growth and development across the nation.